morning everybody it's once again Ted the Speed Learner and I'm going to talk to you today about convenience fees. Now, let me explain what a convenience fee is. Alright we have two people one has cash one has a credit card they go to McDonald's. Each of them buys a six dollar meal. Okay, that would be a sandwich, a fries, and a drink. Okay. Now the guy with cash he pays six dollars. The guy with credit card, he swipes his credit card for six dollars. Now, here's the difference. To the business person, to the guy on the other side of the counter taking your money, he's actually made more money off the guy paying cash than he has from the guy paying the credit card. Why? Because the credit card company charges the business owner, the guy who owns the McDonald's, a convenience fee. And here's how this works. The credit card company charges 3% to the business owner because you use the credit card. Right. Now, how do you calculate this? All right. For those of you non-math geniuses, it works like this. Here's a dollar. We take it times 1% and we get a penny. So, hypothetically, if the credit card company was charging 1% to the owner of the restaurant, six cents of your six dollar meal would go to the credit card company. But if he's charging three percent, that six cents is multiplied by three, so now eighteen cents has gone from the guy paying the credit card to the credit card company. Okay. So basically the owner of the McDonald's is making 18 cents less from the guy paying the credit card than the guy paying in cash. Because remember he has to pay 18 cents, this owner has to pay 18 cents to the credit card company. Okay. And we're going to show this again. We have three dollars here, we take it times three percent here, and we get nine cents. So, if the meal was only three dollars, nine cents of that would go to the credit card company. If the meal was six dollars, eighteen cents would go to the credit card company. Just like I'm showing here. We have a six dollar meal times three percent, eighteen cents goes to the credit card company. Now, how does all this affect you? Well, the business owner is getting sick and tired of giving the credit card company 18 cents without charging you 18 cents. He's losing out. So now he's going to charge you if they pass whatever. They're passing something right now. If they get it passed, he's going to charge you that 18 cents in a convenience fee. He's going to say, well, you now have to pay me the 18 cents that I lost because I had to pay your credit card company. So now you're paying six dollars and eighteen cents while the guy paying in cash is only paying six bucks. Now you say, well eighteen cents wouldn't hurt on a particular day. No, it wouldn't. But what if you ate out five days a week and you used your credit card? Well, eighteen cents times five is ninety cents. So over a week's time, now you've paid an extra dollar for all your meals. Now it starts to hurt the pocketbook. Now, what about you people that fill up your gas tanks? It takes twenty dollars for me to fill up my gas tank uh, half a tank. Now I always keep a half a tank in my car and then when it gets to half a tank then I fill it up all the way. Okay. Well, at twenty dollars you take that times three percent and that's sixty cents. So now I'm filling up my gas tank for $20.60 instead of just $20. Now once a week that's not too bad, but you add that up over a month's time. That's $2.40 a month extra that I'm paying now for gas because I'm using my credit card. Thankfully I have stopped using my credit card for gas purchases. And when I go to restaurants, I don't use the credit card. Neither one. Now, what about bigger ticket items? Okay. 
you're paying your bill. Say you have to pay your cable bill. Your cable bill is $100. $100 times 3%. Now you're paying three extra dollars to pay your cable bill. Well, you could have gone up to the office and paid in cash. Now let's say you wanted to buy a computer online. Okay, You, you needed a new computer. You bought it online. You paid $1,000 for the computer because you wanted the fancy smancy stuff. Okay, So you got $1,000. You take that test to 3%. And now you've paid an extra $30 for that computer. Nice little convenience fee, isn't it? So, that's how all that works. You see, up until now, the merchants have been paying all those fees. Now they've decided they're going to charge it to you. Let me tell you what happens when you start charging service fees like that. Well, uh, convenience fees. What's going to happen is that people are going to carry cash more often. Because they're not going to pay those fees either. That's going to put all these credit and debit card companies out of business. So that's one strike against the economy. Number two, there's going to be an increase in robberies because now everybody's going to have to carry wads of cash. And everybody's going to know it. So now you're going to have more robberies. So that means more poverty for everybody. Number three, it means people are going to be buying less because they're not going to carry those wads of cash and risk all that. And they're certainly not going to write checks on a regular basis because remember, your checks have your bank account number on the bottom of the check. And if you know how to read it, you can steal. Because after all, if you steal the check, you got the name of the person, you got the address of the person, you most likely have the signature of the person, and you have their bank account number. There you go. So less purchases are going to be made. And that's going to put retailers out of business. So the retailers are going to be put out of business. People are going to be stolen from. All kinds of calamities are going to happen. All because you decided to charge convenience fees. Congratulations! You made a little extra money in the short term, but you lost it all in the long term. And do you know what that's going to do to internet retail? People aren't going to buy from the internet anymore. You successfully wrecked the entire economy because you wanted that few extra little dollars. That's greed. What you win in the short term will backfire in the long term. Ask your consumers. They'll tell you. Now they haven't done this yet. But they're going to. And when they do, you answer them back. You tell them, I'm not buying anything unless I absolutely have to. And when your um, profits go down, don't talk to me. Alright. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.